hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i did my hair so i used some expression braiding hair and like some kelly human hair that i had in my stash so i really really love how they turned out i love that they are light i actually used one and a half pack i didn't use a lot of braiding hair so they are really really light and i love the spacing in between i don't want them to be like too much braids on my head i was going for like zoe kravis inspired braids and i absolutely love them i actually like them like down like this with like a middle part and if you guys want to see how i did them then keep on watching so this is how they're currently looking i'm left with three braids which i'm going to do like now and show you guys how i've been doing my braids and to do these braids i'm using some expression braiding hair in color number one and i'm also using like some curly hair this is natural curly hair that i had in my stash so first i'm just going to section these three braids i really wanted them to be like light and not a lot of braids i wanted them to be to have like spacing in between if that even makes sense and with the natural hair i'm literally just cutting it off of the track as i go like this much for one braid and i'm taking out like the access and i've been feeding my braids some of them i did feed them like three times some of them i feed them like twice so i'm just like adding them randomly um but i'm definitely adding two or three so i'm going to add three on this one and first i'm taking my braiding hair i'm not really using a lot of braiding hair um just enough i don't want them to be too thick and heavy so first i'm just doing like a twist around my natural hair and then continue braiding with my hair and the braids And then when I get halfway, I'm going to section the two braiding hair um, into my hair so that I can have three equal strands of hair to braid with. And then just continue braiding. And then a little bit after passing my natural hair, I'm going to start feeding in some um, natural hair so I'm going to take the first piece like this and then take my little metal clip and just clip it in place so that it doesn't move and it, I don't catch it while I'm braiding so I just continue to braid And then once I pass the ends here of the last feed in braid, I'm going to take for the last uh, feeded natural hair, I'm going to take another piece of natural hair, do the same, clip it with a clip and then continue to braid. So again, when I get to the end of the last fitted piece, I'm going to add another piece of human hair. Here. And pin it up and then continue to braid. And then I'm just going to continue braiding it until I get to the end of the braid. And if you want, you can also add some more of the human hair right here in the bottom to if you want like that curly end. I'm not really looking for that kind of um, look. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off all these little um, pieces of human hair that is sticking out at the end. And this is how it looks and I'm using my molding gel wax to add in between the parts so that they can stay like clean and neat 
and I like to comb it through uh -huh. So I'm going to do like the same as I did on the last braid. I'm going to feed in three pieces of human hair. So here's the first piece going. And then I'm taking my little clip here. And just clip it in place. And once I get to the end of the first one, I'm going to take another piece. I guess if you have like longer hair, you can actually just like fit it in once. But I think this is about like 18 or 16 inches. But Kelly hair can appear a little bit short than um, normal straight hair. So. And then I'm going to add another piece of human hair. And just continue braiding until I get to the end of the braid so this is how they're looking I am done and I'm really really loving the spacing in between um, and this is the back so now I'm gonna go ahead and dip them into hot water and then I'll come back and we can do like the final touch up so I am back now with my hair wet i just uh, finished putting them in hot water and this is how it looks it is so light like it's really really light and it, there's no like tangling and i like the curliness of the human hair i'm just gonna take my scissors and cut off like this axis um pieces and as you can see like some of the natural hair is like in the bottom here which makes like the ends curly and to get the curly hair to pop more i'm going to take my repset lotion this is by rs and i'm just gonna put it all over my hair like from roots to end So this is basically how they look really really pretty like i feel like i'm losing a lot of human hair when i like finger comb them i don't know if i didn't make it like tight enough but i feel like every time i just come back with like shattered pieces of um of human hair and i'm also taking some more of the mousse just for my edges here and my little edge brush 